Howdy again, everybody. Sean from Cappy's Cards back with you today doing another Junk Wax Era wax box rip. And uh, this one I got off eBay uh, for just under $20. It's something that there are jillions of, of course, right? But there is something maybe we can find in this box that is kind of special. We'll see. Uh, it's missing the lid, but it's 1991, or excuse me, 1992 Series 1 of Score. And what we're looking for in here, obviously, are the cards that are going to wind up in this box or are going to wind up in my packs that I sell over here in the Etsy shop. But we're also looking for the random Joe DiMaggio card, which I believe there were 2,500 of uh, mixed into the various wax boxes and packs and things like that way back then. God knows how many have been pulled and how many might still be sitting somewhere. So uh, we'll at least have fun looking for that as we do a little random rip here and you know, see how it goes. And like I said, I got this for just under $20 ship off eBay and I, I knew what the lid off and I knew it was the DiMaggio version. Though I kind of wonder if they Frankenstein this box a little or if they took everything out and all, because you can see the packs are upside down. Uh, I don't know if that was normal for back then. I don't remember or not. 92 score, I don't think I collected, to be honest with you. It's a set of almost 900 cards. I, I had the wax box or the, the factory set. But I don't think I tried to hand collate this, or I don't remember doing it. I, I probably bought a PAX here and there, right? But otherwise, you know, it is what it is. Let's find one of these with the DiMaggio on it that's going to have the uh, win cards one of two ways. Uh, 2,495 autographed cards and 149,975 unautographed <laughs> Joe DiMaggio cards have been randomly put into PAX. Um, there was a sweepstakes way back when for some of them, five of the cards were given away in a sweepstakes. And the rest are somewhere in these packs or were in these packs or whatever. And when I'm saying these are Frankenstein, not all these say, you know, the DiMaggio thing. Some say special offer. Who knows, right? But for what I paid, it is what it is. We'll see if we can find it, right? And see if we get super, super lucky. Otherwise, 92 score is kind of a meh design, right? Uh, you know, action shot, stats on the back, right, with a nice profile picture, I guess. But otherwise, yeah, there are stars, of course, in this. I mean, Griffey Jr., I think, was the first card. Hopefully we find his since we struck out on that Griffey Jr. in the 90 Donruss box that I opened. But yeah, these will get mixed in, as I always do, just randomly into the packs over in the Etsy shop. They're on sale, as I'm talking to you right now, 10% off through Father's Day 2024. And I just got a bunch of football cards today, so I'll be showcasing them here soon as well. Probably do a quick baseball card, you know, supplemental set. Get a couple of the teams that are sold out back in stock, makes a couple more packs for some of the other teams, and, you know, go from there, so... We'll see how I wind up doing this. Got a couple other things coming up too here. I've mentioned the 89 Upper Deck. I want to uh, set I'm going to open. Uh, I've already opened it 30 years ago, right? But still, I'll go back through it here. One of the next few videos, I've got some random rips I'm going to do from Modern. And yeah, so nothing, no major stars even so far in these packs, right? And of course, the DiMaggio. <laughs> Not expecting to hit the DiMaggio, obviously, right? Just just thought this would be fun to go through and put together and rip real quick. And like I said in the last video, the origin story video, this is basically what I was doing, you know, April, May, June, July, August, September of 2020, right? Uh, we were all just sitting around doing whatever. And as the these boxes and whatever got kind of stupid priced right as everybody else is sitting around doing the same thing um you know put together some random sets got the billy ripkin f face card right i pulled out of one so there's bernie williams uh quote unquote rookie though it's not his rookie right we he's in 90 donruss and stuff but you know it's the first score card i guess maybe unless i don't remember if he's a 91 score you can correct me if he was but that's probably the best card we pulled so far in terms of cards might find that in a dime box or something somewhere. Still have dime boxes of cards that shows. A big show was here outside of Indianapolis the last few days. I was just too busy. 
I went to the Midwest Monster, the first one. Uh, I've got a video of me just kind of standing there. I think it was the first video I did here on the channel. Um, kind of standing there. I had no idea what to do or to walk around or, you know, can I get in people's face with this or whatever. But <laughs> um, either way, right, you know, I didn't get to this one this year. Go to another one at some point. There are a few other local card shows that are free to get in. It's, you know, a lot of the same people anyway. Although, of course, the Midwest Monsters got people and shops from all over, sort of the Midwest. And others that come in, Doc Gooden there. But other than that, I mean, I'm not chasing singles other than a few for my PC. And it's a nice day. I'd rather play golf. And it's a treat when we get to play a local private club as we did today, so... You know, that, that, that took a little precedence over wandering around a card show. Then on the way home, I stopped at the antique mall near me. And a place I've got cards before. I think I've showcased a few videos on the channel. And was was trying to go there during the week. But the, every road in this area of Indiana is ripped up with construction. Couldn't get there. And, you know, was driving by it and went in and... But a whole rack of football cards. A whole bunch. So, we have seen a lot of the same cards over and over again so far. Of course, that's score. That's the, you know, what's the print run? What's the, uh, you know, collation? Things like that. Sort of how it was back in the 90s. I mean, this set had, I want to say it's 440-ish cards in Series 1. And I, I know Series 2 was a little bit bigger. But... Sandberg again. Be, I mean, there's enough if you do the math that if we didn't hit doubles, we would, you know, maybe put together the set, maybe collate it, but probably not. So there's the uh, Ricky Henderson with no shirt card. That's the dream team thing with these, right? Uh, they all are shirtless for whatever reason. <laughs> Most of them are shirtless. I don't think all of them are. Most of them. Some of them. Kirby Puckett's, I think, is the most infamous. Canseco's. There's some others. O'Brien. Uh, a whole lot of who's. And there's, you know, like I said, they're not all shirtless, right? Sandberg's there isn't. Oops, dropped somebody there. Sorry there, Pete Harnish. Eh, quarter of the way through the box. No DiMaggio. No Griffey yet. I'd like to find at least a Griffey. Ah, same print run there, Viola. And some a little different here. Dave Winfield again, we've seen a few times. He's the Hall of Famer. And, yeah. And like, half these packs say special consumer offer, and some of them say the win Joe DiMaggio. So that's, I really think this box might have just been Frankenstein together. and Because uh, I don't think they were mixed like that. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Because even the backs are different on them, right? What was in them. And it wouldn't surprise me given what I paid for it on eBay. And I always think, I mean, hell, some of the... What's the guy up in northern Indiana, the baseball card exchange? Right? I mean, they, they wrap Frankenstein boxes as, you know, proper boxes or whatever, right? And for whatever... So, as if they were fresh out of a case. Fred McGriff, who liked one of uh, our Facebook posts not too long ago. We're on all the social media channels. If you're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, even Pinterest, you can find us with our card packs. And yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of duplicates so far. So, wouldn't mind just seeing a DiMaggio card, right? And, you know, obviously not necessarily autographed, though. I would scream like a little girl if it was, probably. Um, but Sammy Sosa, Whitaker, Dave Henderson, McGuire. Right, it's a couple stars, at least, in that pack. Even Ron Gant on the back at the time probably would have got you a quarter. <laughs> of 
Porter would have got you something in 1992. Ah, uh, let's see. And Dale Murphy there. Barry Larkin on the back is probably the best card in that pack. Let's see who else we get. Never been a fan. I know most people aren't of these trash bag style wrappers on these. Didn't like them back then. Still don't like them now. 40 years later, 35 years later, whatever. 32 years later, I guess, in this case. I mean, going all the way back to 88 score, I didn't like those either. One of the boxes I'd be interested in buying if I ever, you know, came across the lottery or something like that would be an 89 score football box. But, I mean, are they in these junk kind of packages too? I, I don't know if I've ever seen an actual pack in front of me of 89 score. I had the set. Uh, my parents, it's probably the best purchase they ever made, right, when they bought that set of cards. They bought it for like 20 bucks, right? It was before it all took off with all the rookies in that set. Aikman and Sanders, both Sanders, right, Dion Barry and the others from the 89 draft class. But I sold it, you know, two years ago. The box had fallen apart more or less over time. I had opened it, of course, because I opened everything when I was a kid. Right? So that's why we're going to rip into that 89 upper deck set over there. Ah, more ripping the junk. All right. Come on, Joe. Bernie Williams again. Dale Murphy again. Barry Larkin again. So collation is not very original. Oh, uh, let's see. Larry Walker there. Bobby Witt Sr. Matt Williams. Bobby Bow. Uh, decent stars at the time pack. Got a couple more of these junk whack boxes. I'm going to wax boxes. I'm going to rip into here as well in the near future. So I can mix those into the product. I might hold a couple for a while just so I can start getting these back out quicker than I was originally planning since, you know, was not expecting to get roughly 18,000 football cards today. That source can be very hit and miss over there, the antique mall by me. Uh, there's only it's Henderson again. Can we get somebody different, please, at least? Sometimes I go in there and I find things like that, and I have to find the guy, like, get a hand cart, and I'm here again. <laughs> Other times I go in there, I'm like, what am I looking at? So, uh, lots of Cubs in a row there. Weird. Uh, do, 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 do. John Crock. Crock from the Phillies? Uh, let's see. Oh, we got the Barry Larkin collation again. Raybeck, Whitaker, Fryman, Murphy. How many Dale Murphys have we seen? Definitely am not putting a set together for one box if I wanted to do that. As I would have if I bought this box four years ago. <laughs> but alas, here we are. Looking for Joe and not finding him. Maddox, Dawson. I don't know if there's any sort of stories behind the DiMaggio card. I know some other people have looked for it, but I'm not sure if anybody's hit it on YouTube. I didn't look. Doesn't mean that it's out there. Doesn't mean it's not. But again, with those sorts of, you know, there's only 150,000 of them at that time. Is that what that said? Um... 149,000 unautographed ones, right? And 2,500 more that were autographed, roughly. Yeah. How many of each of these cards were probably printed? At least probably three or four million, right? So. And 
course, a 900 card set, even for that time period, is huge. Right, Donruss and Fleer always stuck around 660. Tops was always around 792. So I guess score wanted to be different. And that's why you get a whole bunch of random people. <laughs> I mean, some of them are recognizable. And then it's like, who's Gene Nelson? I say as he's watching my channel and going, hey, I'm Gene Nelson. Uh, Carlton Fisk, Ozzy Guillen. At least some White Sox, you know. Got just one row left here. So we got six more packs total to go. We'll call it a video. Where'd you go, Joe DiMaggio? Nation turns his lonely eyes to you, Greg Jeffries. Mm -hmm. If I'm going fast, I apologize, right? Just because that pack was at least a little bit different, but there's a lot of redundancy. So just trying to hustle through. And at the very least, like I said, I got stuff for my packs and I've reduced the odds by 36 packs if I don't pull a DiMaggio. For somebody else to go out there and find one yourself. All right, four more to go. I'm just gonna pull them all out here. And get the box over here out of the way. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other junk wax era boxes you'd like to see me try to go out there and find. I can do a couple more maybe. And I'd like to find some football ones to open. I opened uh, in the past like 91 tops. Let's see if I can find a few more. I was surprised with that Sandberg again. I was surprised that, you know, there's a couple different uh, card vendors, at least in that antique mall. The one used to have a lot of wax boxes. He didn't have any today. Somebody must have came through and cleaned them out, or he did. Um, plastic sticking to me. Oh, uh, boy, that card is rough. Clink. Blouser. Bob Milacki. That's part of a no hitter. It's Nolan Ryan. Hey, we haven't hit the Griffey yet, have we? Am I really going to go another box without Griffey? This is a thing now here for the channel. Smoltz. It's the first time we've seen him, isn't it? All right. One more chance for DiMaggio. One more chance for Griffey. Where are the missing Griffeys? Here we go. No DiMaggio in there because the cards are gray. Ah, uh, Ballard. Bo, it's a white sock. The Hawk, Joe Carter, Vince Coleman, and Daniels. We saw that collision before. I didn't get DiMaggio, of course. We, I mean, what were the odds, right? That was actually going to get him. Very bad. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's a fun rip. That's, that's basically what I'm trying to do. Is instead of just buying, uh, you know, those big bulk boxes, which, you know, obviously I'll get them too, but... Uh, you know, something different here for the channel, trying some other stuff. So uh, like, subscribe, of course, I am doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. Check out that video as well. Where I'm going to give away uh, some stuff out of my Etsy shop. And, you know, otherwise, appreciate you liking it. Appreciate you like subscribing anyway, even if you don't want them. And if you've been around for a long time, I always appreciate that too. So, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the shop.